So on this one, we're going to change this one into slope-intercept form. I mean, you could have found the y-intercept, but you would have found that it was this, it's the same x-intercept, right? So uh, that just tells us it goes through the origin. Well, let's say that we didn't know that. So we've got to change this into slope-intercept form. We've got 9x minus 6y equals 0. So I'll subtract 9x from both sides. So 0 minus 9x. I got negative 6y equals negative 9x. And then we got to divide by negative 6 so that the y is by itself. And we get y equals, we got these two negatives, so we can kind of get rid of those. And that becomes a positive. Well, let's say that we got 9, 6, right? We can simplify that by dividing both these by 3. And we get y equals 3 halves x. Well, we know that's the origin. It's going to go through the origin as the y-intercept because we can just put plus 0 there. So from the point of origin, we're just going to, going to apply the slope. So that's a positive 3 and a positive 2. So I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 2. That's all you would need on the computer for it to draw the line. There we go. What questions do you guys have? So let's say that we wanted to check this. What we would have to do is confirm that these two points make the original equation a true statement. So for example, we could put 9 times 0 minus 6 times 0 and just make sure this is equal to 0. Well, that would be 0 minus 0 equals 0. And 0 does equal 0. That's true. So there's one point. But we should check the other point to make sure that it is true as well. So 9 times x. This point is 2, 3. So 9 times 2 minus 6 times 3. That should equal 0. Mm -hmm. So 18 minus 18 that does equal zero, that's true. So it just kind of confirms that those two points are on the line. Right there. So, so if we want the y-intercept, let's look at the equation from the slope-intercept. because That tells us what the y-intercept is. That's zero right there. That's the y-value. We already know the x-value is zero. So it's zero, zero. It's just the origin. Um, just kind of remember, though, that wasn't shown in the original, I don't know, solution for solving for y. You kind of have to write that in there if it helps, helps you to see that.